Hey guys, it's King Sarvitu here, and welcome back to another episode of the Real Madrid Career Mode series on FIFA 17. And last time, uh, last time we left off uh, with a few games, we simulated, I think, I believe two games. It's been a while since I last played uh, this Real Madrid Career Mode, but we did uh, leave off with a game against uh, Valencia coming up. Um, they're currently sitting in first place, so it's going to be a big game right here. So for this game against Valencia, I'm going to go with my strongest uh, lineup right here, BBC of Prime. And the rest of you guys already already know. And the bench will also remain the same. So we kick off this game against Valencia. We're playing away at uh, Valencia Stadium. It's snowing right now. Our first uh, match in the snow in this Real Madrid career mode on FIFA 17. And let's just hope we get the three points. And we have to get the three points. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo on the ball. Can take a nice fake shot, but it's out for a corner. So we take this corner short right here. Hamas now sends it across. Bale's right there, but <laughs> Bale couldn't reach it. Pepe receives the ball now to Ramos. Ramos there sends it through ball to Ronaldo. Ro Ronaldo's shot gets blocked. That was pretty close. So we get another corner right here. Take this short. Hamas now. Hamas with the cross. What the hell did Ramos do? What the? Why did he not go for the header? Here's Hamas Rodriguez here to come back. Gives out to Ronaldo, but Ronaldo just can't keep the ball. A nice cross into the box. Does not go out well, but Tony Cruz has a shot. Give it to Modric, and Modric cannot also get the shot on. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo on the wing. Cuts back. Does well right there with the dummy. Does a slide tackle. And he goes in the box. Goes for goal. And there we go, in the 43rd minute, he gets the opener of the game. Cristiano Ronaldo makes it 1-0. And look at that, nice play from Ronaldo, dodges a slide tackle, gets past three defenders, and gets a shot on into the bottom corner, past Diego Alves, and makes it 1-0. And that's Cristiano Ronaldo's 10th goal in La Liga. And there we go, that's half time right here. Leading the game 1 0 through Cristiano Ronaldo's goal, that which was scored late in the first half. Oh, nice through ball to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo's through. So go for the finesse. Benzema. Oh my goodness. Ronaldo should have made it 2 0. So we're going to take this corner short right here. Give it to Hamas Rodriguez. Now Hamas with the cross, and I guess a deflection. No way. No, oh what a save from Killer Navas. It's a nice throw ball to Luka Modric. Modric with the shot gets saved by Diego Alves. Oh great. They're through on goal. Valencia. And he shoots wide. Alright, let's make some substitutions right now. Let's take off Hamas Rodriguez and put on Marco Asensio. Um, let's take off Tony Cruz as well. For Isco. And last substitution can be, let's actually take off um, Marcelo for a brand and put Pepe at right back. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, not right back, left back. He has Benzema. He's through on goal. Gives it to Isco. Isco to Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the ball. He controls it nicely, but gets tackled on the edge of the box. Oh, I can't believe that's not a foul. Oh, please don't give me a red card for that. Don't give me a... Okay, thank you. Yellow card. Nice play from Carvajal. Oh, shit. And that's the full-time whistle from the referee. 1-0 is enough for us to win this game. And uh, honestly, 1-0 is a good result against a first place team in the league. Cristiano Ronaldo's goal is the only goal in the game. Happened late in the first half. Second half, could have had a few, maybe one or two goals there. But it did not happen. Diego Alves was pretty good at goal. And Navas at the end as well. was a savior for us. He made two great saves. And 1-0 is a decent result. So they gave man of the match to Hamas Rodriguez with an 8.7 rating, giving the assist to Ronaldo, who also got an 8.5 uh, rating. So man of the match has to go to uh, 
James Rodriguez, Ramos with 8.3, Pepe with the 8, also with Navas 8, and yeah. Alright, so we just played a tough game against Valencia, who were still sitting in first place despite that loss against us. Uh, now we play another tough game, this time a rival game, a classical right here against FC Barcelona. We're playing away this time. And they're right, right, and right now in this season, they're not really doing that good actually. They're sitting in 5th place right now, well we're sitting in 2nd. So they have a lot of catching up to do. They, it looks like they need the win more than us. But again, if we could get this win, we could probably uh, steal 1st place from, away from Valencia. Alright, for this game against Barcelona, I'm going to go with the exact same lineup as we did in the Valencia game. Um, and the bench will also remain the same. Alright, so we start off this game against FC Barcelona right now. Um, as you can see in the bottom right there, it says that we're playing the El Libertarian. Um, obviously, FIFA don't have um, um, the Barcelona's exact stadium in this game, in this year's game. So, I guess El Libertarian is now the new Camp Nou. Nice play from Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale, if he could get past the defense, which he can't. Yeah, that's a nice fake shot from Cristiano Ronaldo. Goes into the box. Maybe he's trying to get for a goal. Uh, Bale is going to win that. And he just immediately loses it. Or he win it back. No, he can't. Oh, nice deal from Ronaldo. He stole the ball exactly right from Messi's V. Marcelo but just gives it away. Nice play from Ronaldo. But he just immediately just loses the ball. I can't get past that defense from Barcelona right here. <laughs> it's like a, I'm running against a brick wall right here. Just to get past these players. Once I do, maybe go for a shot. Exactly. I can't get it. I can't make a keeper work for it. Alright, so the commentators think that we're going to lose against Barcelona at the El Libertarian. They're not even playing at their own stadium. Do you actually think they're going to beat us? Oh, we'll see about that. Nice steal from Marcelo right there as we talk about that. Oh, Dan I just talked too soon. I talked too soon. Neymar. Oh my god, Messi with a nice pass to Neymar. And he just slotted it into the bottom corner away from Navas' reach. And we can see that go away at Barcelona. And there we go, that's a uh, uh, halftime whistle from the referee. Neymar just scored at the end of the first half. 45th minute cheese. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Um, I think I just spoke too soon. We're probably going to lose the game now. Oh my goodness. Referee, red card him. Red card that fool. Please, come on. Oh, that's a yellow card, that's it? Okay, could be Ronaldo's territory actually. Um, maybe let's go for a free kick. Ah, uh, just hits the side net. Tonight's one from Gareth Bale. Cuts back, does well right there. Goes inside the box. Can he go for a sweat? Hamas! Thank you! 59th minute, Hamas Rodriguez scores a sweaty. I know it's a sweaty goal, but we had to do one. It's. It's Barcelona. It's away at Barcelona for fuck's sake, man. We had to do it, and plus we're down already. And Hamas Rodriguez just pokes one away and finds the equalizer. It's a nice play from Carvajal right here. Cut back. Does well right there. Maybe give it to Gareth Bale. Bale back to Hamas. Come on, the free kick. Thank you, ref. Okay, here goes Gareth Bale with the free kick. Hopefully he can find the back of the net. Um, what happened? Okay. Hello, referee. Thank you. Let's hit the back of the net. Right. Oh, we hit. We missed the target yet again. Oh, another nice through ball to Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale threw on goal. Goes for the finesse. How do you miss that? That should have been the goal! Oh my goodness, it'll stay nil-nil now! Here's Gareth Bale through on goal. Gareth Bale is going to go for a shot. What kind of shot was that from Bale? 
And that's full time. I forgot to make substitution in the game. But I don't think it really matters. It ends one all. That was a chance to take the lead and possibly go ahead of Valencia. Which we're probably not going to do now since we dropped a, uh, two points. But Hamas Rodriguez did <laughs> pull it back for us. Neymar scored the first goal. Hamas Rodriguez scored a sweaty. Um, Bale missed the sitter at the end. Should have scored in the 90th minute, but just couldn't happen. So they gave man of the match to Neymar, who get who did get the opening goal in the game. Gets an 8.3. Messi got the 8.1 for assisting it. Um, right here for us, uh, Bale, who assisted Hamas Rodriguez, gets a 7.4. Hamas gets an 8. So technically, Neymar and Messi, uh, according to them, played better than our whole team. Um, which is fair to say, I guess, but we did play really good, actually, especially Bale uh, and Hamas Rodriguez with a nice assist. I feel like Modric just kept on getting in our way, so... Uh, I know he got a higher rating than Tony Cruz, but Modric did get in the way a lot. Alright, so we'll end this episode right here with the game against Atletico Madrid. Oh my goodness, this episode is just so hectic. We had Valencia in the first game, Barcelona in the second game, now Atletico Madrid. This is a cup game though, so it's the first leg and we're playing this uh, leg, uh, first game away. Um, I don't even know if I should uh, show you guys my starting lineup. As you can tell, it's going to be the exact same lineup as we've been going up for this whole episode. And the bench again, same. So we start off this game against Atletico Madrid. We're playing at the Vincent Caledron Stadium. Um, and let's just hope we get a good uh, result in this away leg fixture. We still have the whole fixture to play next after, so a good draw or, or maybe a cheeky little win will be good enough. It's a nice play from Ronaldo right here. On the wing by himself, a solo run from Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes for a goal! Oh my goodness, it just goes inches away from the post. It's a nice throw about to Gareth Bale. Bale's shot gets denied, but Bale on the rebound. How do you miss that? Bale, man, honestly, do you know how to find the target? Honestly, that's two back-to-back -back games where he just missed a sitter. That one, oh my goodness, it was just gifted to him. The ball coming back to him, into his feet like that. But he shoots it wide, yet again. Here's Gareth Bale on the ball now. Gareth Bale making a nice run on down the wing. Um, maybe we can send it across, maybe. Ronaldo! And it goes wide. And that's, there we go. That's a halftime muscle from the referee. It ends nil-nil. We move on to the second half. Hopefully we have a better second half. Um, had a few chances from us. I think uh, we kept Atletico Madrid from getting a shot on target. Or, or you mean getting a shot. Don't know. Not sure if we did. But honestly, I feel just by the first half, I think we're the better team. A nice throw to Karen Benzema. Benzema! My goodness, we had to get that winner. Karen Benzema, finish that, son. All right, it's the 90th minute. I know it's pointless to make substitution, but we're going to make some substitution now. Hamas Rodriguez come on, coming off for Asensio. Uh, Modric off for Isco. And Gareth Bell off for Vasquez. Oh my goodness, that's full time. Benzema with the another um, how many sitters are we gonna get? Honestly, the last two games we had two sitters in the 90th minute that could have capitalized and gave us the win. But again, this is the first leg. We still have the uh, home uh, leg fixture to play, and we have to get a result in that game. So there we go. Tony Cruz gets man of the match. Gets a 7.6 in this game. He played well. Pretty pretty good game. Garrett Bell, for me, he has to be the man of the match. He pretty much was involved in every play. Ronaldo was silent. Carvajal also played a good game. Ramos played good at the back. Pepe, not so well. Um, but their keeper, Old Black, with seven huge saves. The main reason why Atletico Madrid are still in this uh, tie. Oh my goodness, Carvajal gives us a, this email. He I recently asked for a contract, ex, uh, not ex extension, but uh, more wage. I offered the desired wage he wanted, 
and now he comes back with this and the thing is we're at the transfer window right now we're at the winter transfer window our first transfer window in this career mode and yeah so since we're here uh, we have only have a month to make transfers so please put down any suggestions you want me to sign for this career mode um, I'll be signing every player that you guys uh, mentioned in the comments below and mention, also mention players who you want me to get rid of, who you think should be um, out of this Real Madrid, uh, not playing for the team. Um, I do have a few players in mind that I want to get rid of and I want to sign. Um, I don't know if I want to do that in this transfer window. I kind of want to go a season with this exact squad, a whole season. And then just the next summer transfer window just go all out on the signings but up to you guys I'll just mention down below which uh, signings you want me to make in this window and if you will if I don't get any uh, names down below then I guess I'll just do a thing my way just go for a huge spending spree in the next transfer window which will be in the summer by the end of the season so that'll be it for this episode right here we are in the transfer window like I said where we've gone a week into it without making any signings whatsoever. I think I feel like I wasted a week. Should have just left it off with that game. But um, we have the next game against Granada who are sitting in the relegation. So I might simulate this in the next episode. Um, don't know. I might just s solely focus on the transfer window. We do have a game against Atletico Madrid as well in the next episode. Which I'll have to play. And yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We had three uh, games against the top the t uh, toughest three uh, teams in the league Valencia, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. I don't think uh, you can find a better fixture um, in the La Liga. You, you can find better uh, teams to face in La Liga. Um, it's debatable if Valencia is the next best um, after Atletico Madrid, but um, I think with the season they're having right now, I think, yeah, it's fair enough to say that they're probably the fourth best team in La Liga and yeah subscribe if you haven't and yeah we'll see you next time in the next episode